Hello and welcome back to Rome Total War Skippy Eye Campaign doing the No Post Marion Unit Recruitment Challenge. In our last episode we took some territories in Dacia and over down here in Nepte and I believe we also took Kaidonia and we defended against Greece when they attacked us. In today's episode I want to continue my war against Greece and take uh, their last city Sparta as well as uh, we attacked Oscar over here in Spain, and um, we're also looking to push into Dacia a little bit further. They still have three territories left, um, but this is going to be their biggest city right now. Uh, this is their capital, so we definitely need to finish them off in here. So we're trying to uh, expand as fast as possible and prevent the Julia from invading Oscar. And I need to get troops back here and into... Uh, Sardis and kind of try to slow down the broody eye from expanding as well so I'm gonna get these uh, soldiers over here to uh, move up and get ready to reinforce Asuka well with that I'm gonna go ahead and end my turn We got attacked by Spain. They have the, a couple of skirmishers that are hitting us from behind. The location of the battle is such that the uh, Julia reinforcements won't be able to help us. So their army over here, they have a couple of family members, which are going to be heavy cav. Not a whole lot, just 33 in each unit. Um, they have their Iberian infantry, war dogs, a bunch of skirmishers. These Spanish mercenaries are actually pretty decent. Uh, the, these skirmishers aren't as good. Let's go ahead and fight this on the map. Okay, I'm gonna try to take out their rear army as fast as possible. They've got another army right ahead of me. I mean, right behind me. So I'm gonna try to take uh, this, these guys out first. And let's have my infantry double time. Let's uh, surround them and take them out as quickly as possible. The gods who fill the heart of the enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. Let's go, let's take him out. The gods be praised! And Okay, we took a few casualties. Let's uh, let's make sure we track these guys down, kill out, ev kill everybody. Let's get set up over here and wait for their reinforcements to come. Okay, it looks like they're sending their cavalry ahead, so we're gonna go ahead and try to take them out first with our cavalry before their infantry can catch up. Just a couple of round shield cavalry. They've got one of their uh, generals over here. Let's uh, have our guys double time. And we're still fresh, so we can go ahead and double time. Looks like they're backing off, but I think we should be able to take them before their infantry gets here, so we'll take advantage of that. Let's go ahead and charge. Alright, we need to get our guys back before their infantry gets here. We did uh, take out most of their cavalry, so that's good. Let's get our guys back. And their cavalry might completely rout, let's hope so. That'll help us out quite a bit in the battle. Let's get these guys on our right flank. And these guys on our left. General protect the center. So hopefully we'll be able to rest while they are marching up here. It looks like they are running. So we can hope to uh, tire them out. Just trying to get to us. That'll be really great. Looks like one of their cavalries did rally. 
All right, I think I'm gonna get my uh, cavalry all on my left flank over here. We'll have our general protecting, as well as uh, the principes here, protecting the right, right flank. Here comes their general. Let's go. This is their backup general, so let's go ahead and charge him right away. Let's take him out. It's a heavy cav, but we got him surrounded. We got this numerical superiority. And there's their general. If we can take him out, that would be very effective as well. Boy, this general's bodyguard is holding on to the last man, isn't he? He is! We got him. And they're not touching our left flank at all. I mean, our right flank, they're going after our left flank completely. We got him to rout. Alright, their general's bodyguard has been weakened quite a bit. Let's go ahead and take him out. He's routing. The rest of the guys should route. Let's get our infantry forward. Ah, uh, he's going to get away. Just one guy left. But we should route his entire army. Because the rest of the guys are just infantry. Let's go ahead and wipe him out completely. We do have some equites chasing him down. We might be able to catch him. Uh, no, I don't think so. Our equites are faster, but they don't have enough room. He's too close to the red line. Yep, there he goes. He's going to get away. Just the one general's bodyguard. This is a heroic victory worthy of Roman arms. So we killed 99% of their armies, but their general did get away. They only have 10 men re remaining. But it, it should make the siege easier. I don't know if they're going to get completely wiped out. We'll see what happens. But because I didn't kill their general, is their army going to get wiped out or not? We'll find out. Let's see. See what happens. Okay. They want they have a mission for us to blockade Carthago Nova. We'll try and do that and we'll get a Triarii, which is really awesome. Looks like the uh, Brutii are the strongest faction. So unfortunately Greece attacked me over here in Corinth and uh, my general is going to be separated from the bulk of my army. I don't want to attack with my general. I want to attack with my captain and then have my general come as reinforcements. And I'm not going to let the AI control them of course. And they, this is a really tough army. They've got their uh, Spartan hoplites. They've got regular hoplites. They've got the armored hoplites. They've got some Cretan archers, some regular archers. So this is going to be a tough battle for us. Let's go ahead and fight this on the map. Yeah, so I don't have any cavalry in this army. But thankfully we've got our reinforcements. Uh, although I can't... I can't control them because it's a general's bodyguard. So I'm going to have to rely on the AI to help me out, which is awful. All right, let's focus on the right flank and get this guy surrounded. I might just wait. My archers are firing. Let's just get my infantry lined up, maybe like that. Double time. Actually, let's shift them over a little bit. And let's get my uh, Velites up and my Peltis. My Cretan archers are able to fire right away. And Roman archers are firing too, so that's good. I don't want to go too fast because let's just get my Illyrians up like this. I don't want to go too fast because I want to wait for the reinforcements. Although I don't want to wait too long because it's AI controlled. So that's always, always a problem. Let's get my infantry up. And one of the biggest pains in this battle is going to be their militia cav because I have no cav to control myself. I think I can handle their uh, hoplites. But I'm worried about my flanks over here.
Oh, uh, and I've already got one unit to route just because they were on my flanks and I don't have a general. I don't have a general to rally them. So I gotta really be careful of my flanks. Let's halt. Let's get formed back up. I can't believe they routed already. Okay, they're they're back in the battle. Let's go ahead and uh, fight this guy. We're uh, that's their general's bodyguard. If we can kill him. Let's go ahead and attack. There's their Spartan hoplites. The enemy general flees. Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too. All right, I gotta get my infantry lined up again. We gotta deal with those Spartan hoplites. Uh, get get out of skirmish mode. Yeah, even uh, hitting these uh, Spartan hoplites from the back is not guaranteed to get them to route. Right? Okay. Our Illyrians are routing. They've got Militia Cav just running wild. There's nothing I can do about them. Okay. Their Spartan Hoplites are almost wiped out. Okay, I've got their Spartans to, to route. I'm really worried about my Cretan archers. I wish my allies would help out with that. Let's go take out these uh, hoplites. They're routed. Like. What are these equites doing here, AI? You're just standing here. Attack! Attack these hoplites! What are you doing? Stupid. I wish I could control the AI reinforcements. I've killed 65% uh, of their army. I'm taking way more casualties than I w normally would. Number one, because I didn't have control of the AI reinforcements and also my army had no cavalry whatsoever. Alright, looks like we won the battle. I want to do as much casualties as I can, see if I can wipe out more of their armies. Alright, we took some big losses. We lost 907 guys, but thankfully we didn't lose uh, too many Cretan archers, which is my most valuable unit at this time. I can retrain just about everybody else, but not my Cretan archers. And we survived that attack, even with our army split up, so that was good. Alright, I need to organize my troops and get them... I'm going to try to besiege uh, Sparta this turn. They do have quite a bit of guys still in their capital. A lot of uh, armored hoplites. So let's uh, let's get organized here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and besiege Sparta. Well, oh, that's interesting. We do have the gates open. A lot of armored hoplites. And, of course, their faction leader. Well, I'm going to go ahead and hire my own mercenary hoplites. To help out in the battle. I don't think I need these peltists. On second thoughts, I'm not gonna do that. I'm I need to get ladders because I can't just rush into the gates because they have hoplites and they'll have enough hoplites to defend every gate and that would just be a just a massive uh, casualties for me. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna wait one turn get my ladder so I can take the walls. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take Oscar here. They only have two units left. 
They've got the Round Shield cav Cavalry and S Scarface over here. Let's go ahead and fight this on the map. I think I'm gonna let the Julii deal with them and try to get as many casualties with the Julii as possible. So they're helping out in this battle. When I get the gates open, I'm just gonna let the Julii march in and they'll probably take a route which will let them get hit by these towers. So they'll take a lot of casualties and that's what I want. So I want the Julii to take as much casualties as possible while I take no casualties. So we'll just go ahead and break open one gate. All right, here comes the Julii. They're gonna march in. Alright, here come the Julii. Let them fight it out. Hopefully they take a few casualties. Looks like they've already taken about 4%. That's mostly from the towers. Alright, well they only took 33 casualties. It's hoping for more, but uh, let, them, uh, let them take the casualties rather than us. That's much better. And since we were the ones to initiate the siege, we get the city, even though they're the ones that took the city. Go ahead and enslave the population. All right, uh, they've got the uh, Sacred Grove of Epona. That's gonna give us experience. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the sewers first, and then uh, maybe I can move out pretty soon, I don't know. And I don't know what the uh, Julii are planning. If they plan to move out and try to march out against more Spanish cities or not. But let's go ahead and get our reinforcements moving out. So I'm just going to send one ship over here to pick up these archers. Get them in the ship. And I think I'm going to move this fleet over here. And combine these guys with them. And then we'll... Complete the mission of blockading Carthago Nova. They've got this uh, faction heir over here. I don't know what to do with him. We'll see what he does. Um, he might slow the Julii down a little bit. Who knows? Get them to chase after him. All right, let's go after Demidi. The Get them besieged. Build some uh, rams. They've got a little bit more infantry over here than they normally do. It's usually just skirmishers. They've got a little bit of an army over here they might strike at me we'll see about that and hopefully I can get uh, queso over here out of Nepti I think I'm gonna hire a couple of Libyan mercenaries just to uh, maintain public order in Nepti and then I can move the rest of my troops out and then potentially disband them later build up the population a little bit their public order is still at 85 percent so we're okay yeah so now we can go ahead and move uh, queso out not sure what I'm gonna do with him let's get him over here and uh, build a watchtower I don't know if he's gonna take part in Spain or finish off the last uh, Numidian city or even potentially move him out east and take out Numidia over here okay Numidia does have an old army that they're coming Looks like they're going to make their way out from the east. Let's just keep an eye on them. And I think I can go ahead and uh, get some more troops here as well. Get, get some Velites. Alright, let's go up here and uh, take on Dacia. Let's uh, get this station army over here. It's just a couple of warbands and falcsmen. I mean, one warband, one a little bit of falcsmen. Shouldn't be very difficult for us. All right, let's get our infantry moving up. Lead, lead the way with our skirmishers and our archers. Take care of the flanks with our cavalry. All right, here they come. Let me get the, my equites out back. Let's see if they're charging my general's bodyguard. Get him to chase after him. And then let's hit these Falksmen first. All right, we'll get their Falksmen.
God to be praised. All right, made pretty quick work of them. We only lost six guys. Now this is the army I'm much more concerned about. They are all heavily armored and upgraded. They've got archers and cavalry and chosen swordsmen versus our little ragtag group of uh, Hastatis. So I have this army over here that I would like to have uh, reinforced and take this army out, but unfortunately, they just don't have the range. I can't even get my equites over. And it looks like he just trained up another Barbarian Noble Cavalry last turn. So what I think I want to do is, uh, I know this is kind of a waste of money, but I'm going to get some Illyrian mercenaries. Oh, good. We got the uh, mercenary captain. So that's going to make recruiting the other guys a little bit cheaper, I think. All right, so we've got some more Illyrian mercenaries. That should help help us out a little bit let's go in and attack these guys we can't reach them next turn let's get our other army moving out too all right doesn't look like i can reach them this turn so we'll have to deal with them next turn i moved my reinforcements up a little bit closer so maybe we can combine forces and take them out it's probably a little bit overkill i didn't need to hire those illyrians but oh well all right i don't know what the broody eye are just all hanging out in roads for they've got this army moving out over here I think they went to fight rebels. So that's giving me some more time to get over here to take on Sardis. So let's go ahead and get this army moved out. Alright, let's get guys Victor on this ship. And moving out. Down south. I don't want to land over here. I don't want to take Pergamum. I want to go after Sardis because I want to block off uh, Brutii if I can. Let me split up this navy over here that's blockading Sparta. We'll get them uh, going over here. Make sure no pirates hit us. Okay, there's no pirates in this territory. We should be able to land here in Sardis next turn and uh, uh, declare war on Pontus. So I kind of want to move my uh, troops out to protect this um, bridge. We got some troops over here in Dacia, and I don't know if they're going to move out or not. So let's go ahead and move these guys. And just have them sit on the bridge. And to get these guys to join them. Get the rest of the guys moving out east. I'd like to maybe get another archer. Three Hastatis. Maybe I need another. Let's just do four Hastatis, an archer. Yeah, that should be good. I don't know what they're planning up here, but we can just sit on this bridge for a long time and uh, not really have to worry about uh, Daisha up here. All right, let's go ahead and end our turn. Well, it looks like Daisha is coming after us. Uh, they, they're hitting our reinforcement, which is actually a little bit of our larger army. Let's go ahead and fight them. So they have the long range missiles. I can't sit back and let them attack me with those, uh, with their archers. So I'm going to have to move forward and uh, deal with them. I do have a little bit of a hill over here. Let's get our archers up. But I'm going to have to send my cavalry out after their archers. Um, go ahead and run. There's their chosen swordsman. Chosen swordsman. Let's go ahead and try to get around him. Hopefully we don't rout. Okay. Looks like uh, their uh, cavalry's coming after us. No. Yeah, okay, our archers are firing. Theirs are not, because we're uh, getting them to uh, come after our... Because we're scaring them with our cavalry. So that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and charge their noble cav. Here they come after us. We're going to have to fall back with our archers and our skirmishers. Let's get these guys to charge. 
we can route their uh, barbarian cavalry. Let's uh, okay, they're they're fully routed. They routed against our infantry as well, and all that's left is their cavalry. Let's go. Let's press the advantage before they rally. Yeah, with that we got them. They've uh, completely routed. And we should be able to wipe out most of this army. All right, another heroic victory. We took out 748, only lost 27 guys. That was really good. Maybe we can get a man of the hour. Oh, here comes Dacia hitting us on the bridge. Uh, they don't have much. This army's not nearly as tough. The, the only really tough infantry is their uh, naked fanatics. These warbands are nothing to be worried about. But we have the bridge. We can defend it. Alright, let's go ahead and get in formation here. We don't have as nearly as many guys as we have had in the past. Let's get our archers in, at an angle. No, they need to start firing right away. Oh, I need to get my infantry on guard mode. Alright, we got one unit to route already. Here's their naked fanatics over here, but they're kind of running all over the place. We got plenty of arrows left. We just need to hold firm. We're all steady. Uh oh, they're shaking. Why are they shaking? Okay, they're steady, steady, steady. Okay, no longer shaking. That's good. We just gotta hold firm. They are kind of winning over here on the left flank. I don't know if I should send in my cavalry or not. We're, we're still steady, we're still steady. Okay, these guys are wavering. Let's get our cavalry to back them up. Let's go. Let's have our cavalry go in here. Help out a little bit. Alright, let's back off. I don't want to lose my general. They're still shaking. Archers still have plenty of missiles. Let's go ahead and send them in again. Looks like we might be losing this. Okay, we got it, guys. We got them to route. That cavalry charge did its did its job. Took out their general. That was a perfectly well timed cavalry charge. We did it with the cavalry charge. Very nice. All right. Well, oh, another heroic victory. Interesting. We lost 244 guys. We killed 1100. Pretty good. Two heroic victories in one turn. Oh, wow. Another attack. Numidia. With a large skirmisher force. And a few infantry. Alright, let's go fight this on the map. Alright, we kind of got a little bit of hill here. We're going to defend it. Reinforcements in a pathetic attempt to save themselves. I'm going to back up a little bit. So I think this rock over here is going to give me a little bit of an advantage. I think it's going to split up their forces. So I'm going to send my cavalry out here and see what I can do. It looks like uh, we've got some archers over here as well as uh, some skirmishers. I want to try and take these guys out first. So let's go and... Uh, yeah, I'm sending uh, my, archer, my cavalry up to deal with these guys. And then that will help me out because 
since I have the high ground, I can just sit up there and, uh, let's go. Let's take out their javelins first. And then hit their archers. All right, we're getting them the route, but we want to kill as many as possible. I don't want any survivors or just a handful of survivors because I want to have the uh, missile superiority. Let's go. Still too many. I don't want them to rally. I do want to go here and get these guys before their reinforcements come. Let's go. Quickly, quickly. We're getting too close. Come on. Get them. They're going to hook, hook up with their reinforcements. Okay, just uh, eight guys left. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta get going quickly. Thankfully they didn't uh, charge us with their cavalry here and their reinforcements. Let's try to link up with our army. I don't know if I want to take these guys out just yet. I did take out the most threatening to our high ground, is which was our archers. Which was their archers. So let's go back to the hill and uh, just defend and rest up our horses. Looks like they're sending these javelins forward. I'm going to go ahead and take them out real quick. That was easy. Let's go back. Oh man, we're getting a lot of friendly fires from our slingers. What were they thinking? Looks like they are now in range. Let's get our cav infantry forward. I have my slingers hold fire. I think they do a lot of friendly fire. Let's send our infantry forward. Let's take out these uh, guys. And these guys are routed. Let's see if we can hit their missile cav. Now let's just get back. Wait. Just get back. Taking a lot of casualties. And get our infantry back. Don't want to go chasing after missile cav. Let's try to rest our cavalry if we can. We're going to get hit by their missile cav. There's nothing we can do about it. But we're going to do more damage to them than they will to us. We have a missile advantage. Alright, we just got to hold our ground. We've got the high ground. They're not quite in range yet. They will be soon. There's their general's bodyguard right there. Heavy cab right in the middle. They should be in range soon. Yep, there we go. Slingers are hitting them. Equites are still tired, but I'm going to go ahead and have them move out. Take the. hit them on their right flank, our left flank. 
Let's go. Oh, here comes their... Their heavy calf. Right at us. Let's go. And they're hitting us over here, too. Gotta get our calf back. Let's get their uh, gen. If we can get their general to route or die, then uh, should help us out. Okay, we got the enemy general. See if we can hit their missile cab before they get away. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. All right, another heroic victory. That was three heroic victories in one turn, and we should take the city with that because we killed their general. Yeah, we got them. Considering how remote this city is, I'm just gonna go ahead and exterminate them. So I'd like to destroy their temple and replace it with the temple of Saturn, but. We're at 80% public order already, so we can't do that. So I'll have to wait one turn. We're retraining up our armies and uh, getting one peasant. Next turn we can just grab a bunch of peasants. In the meantime, I think I'm going to get sewers. All right, I found this Spanish fleet just out here in the middle of nowhere. We've hit him like three or four times, but he keeps staying around. I'm going to send one ship over here to attack him. Because I've got... I want to blockade Carthago Nova. All right, we won that. I'm sure he's going to escape somewhere. All right. Uh, even though I'm kind of busy escorting troops, I do want to hit these guys. So we'll do that. Okay, we sunk him. Good. We used up a lot of our movement points. We want to get this army reinforced. I think I can go ahead and uh, blockade Carthago Nova. They don't got much over here, so I should try to march out. Oh, we've got a little bit of an army here, though. Got to get our reinforcements. And I think I've got Stadi here. Get him on board. All right. Uh, even though we can get the plus two experience to troops, I'm going to go ahead and destroy this because we just need the public order. I think we'll be okay. Just drop us 10%. We need to get Saturn. Yeah, I don't want to leave my general here too much, too long. I don't want him to get uh, drunkenness from the uh, tavern over here. So let's take a look at him. Okay, he doesn't have a, a drinking trait just yet. So hopefully we don't need to leave him here too long. I want to see if there's uh, any uh, guys we can hire out here. These guys are pretty good. We're going to get them. We're going to get them. And... Uh, I'm just, these guys are really expensive, 200 upkeep, but it might be good just for a couple of turns and then disband them and trade them for a peasant just to get my army out of the city. So I'll go ahead and get him too. And we'll get him back in the city for now. And then yeah, when I get enough peasants, I'll disband these uh, mercenaries. But it looks like the uh, Julia I decided to back off out of uh, Spain. So we don't have to, I don't, I'm not too worried about them moving out into the west. Although they they took another city, Limonim. And let's see where Aretium is at. 20,000, just 4,000 to go. I think Are they're going to do it before the Brutii. The Brutii are more powerful. Look at all their Triarii. But they don't seem to be growing as fast as the Julii. Man, look at this. Another big army over here. I wonder what his plans are. Look at all these uh, broody eye troops just everywhere. I'm not sure where they're planning to move out. Uh, we need to hurry up. We're going to go and move our guys out here and move on Pontus. I'm going to combine my two forces over here. I'm just going to go ahead and besiege it now, and then we'll add our troops later. Okay, we've got open gates. Good, we can attack this turn. Let's go get him some more troops. Alright, let's go ahead and attack. We'll assault this 
the gates. He's just got a couple of really heavy cav and one warband. Let's go ahead and take him out. All right, I got my guys into two groups because uh, we're gonna split up between two different sides. It doesn't look like they've uh, they're gonna contest this side. Just the uh, main gate over here. Let's uh, see if we can get our archers up here. And wrong archers. Get these guys and then our Illyrians as well just so we can get into the gates we got open gates so we should be able to throw through the gates and take out this warband the rest of the guys we're gonna have to fight in the town square looks like they are retreating to the town square can we uh, throw over this wall nope can't throw over the wall We're able to uh, get some arrows o over the walls. And yeah, we're throwing right through the gate. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna hold our fire. Let's get our infantry in there. If they come back, we'll just have to fight them with the infantry. We need to save our missiles for taking the town square. Just get it. Get our infantry in real quick. All right, I'm moving to surround them. I've got these archers climbing up the hill over here. Um, I'm gonna try to get some Hastadis to back them up. We've got gonna have some Equites go around this way. And uh, surround them from three different sides if I can. All right, they haven't moved out yet. Our archers are not in range. I wonder if I can sneak like over here there we go and then get my archers to maybe fire over this building like so I don't I don't know if they will be able to or not uh, I don't know where my archers are going They're taking a weird path let's go this way come on let's get my equites around they still haven't moved let's create a third group for this flank over here Make sure we get around the corner so we don't do anything silly. They're still just standing here. Let's get my equites up here. Get these archers behind them. As soon as my archers get in range, they're going to start charging, I think. Let's have them hold their fire until we get into position. Okay, I think that's close enough. Let's. Let's see. I don't know if they're in range yet. Just let them get settled. Get our general a little bit closer. I'm just going to have them fire at will. Halt. Fire at will. We're going to start shooting at them. And then they're going to start charging. Here they come. Get our cavalry charging. And our Illyrians. Alright, well we're gonna be taking a lot of casualties here because of this head-to-head -head fighting with their heavy calf but we should be be able to overwhelm them uh oh we got a guy rout routing some Hastadis We gotta get their heavy calf. Uh oh, more guys routing. Man, these heavy calves are just. Oh, our whole left flank is routing. We gotta kill the general. 
Yikes, this was bad. These guys were tough. Okay, there's our general. Let's hope he doesn't get killed. Please don't get killed. Please don't get killed. Not really, we lost too many men. Alright. Wow, we lost a lot of guys. Just three guys left. Alright, there we did it. So I think the problem I had was... Um, I, I had him surrounded, but I should have had an Equites over here to come and hit that Warlord from behind. Problem was, I had my Hastati's right up front fighting the Warlord. I really had no counter for him, and I, w I should have had some sort of trap. But the city's designed in this. Uh, there's really no way to trap them unless I was to like sacrifice an archer or something like that and get him to chase after me. There was really no way to set up a trap. I tried to surround him and charge, but my guys just didn't get there in time. He was able to take out my Hastati's and get him to rout. So I lost 549 guys. Um, could have been better. And I think I'm going to go ahead and exterminate this population. Just because they're so remote. And I just don't want to have to deal with a large population out here. Alright, let's get our agent moving out. And Thrace. I definitely hope we don't have to deal with Thrace. They've got a lot of units. Um, I know they're at war with uh, Scythia. So... Oh, is that Scythia's capital right here? Yeah, so our ally Scythia is at war with uh, Thrace. And they've got their capital right here. Let's take a look at the uh, faction rankings for these two. So we got Scythia and Thrace. So Scythia is more powerful, but let's take a look at military. Yeah, but unfortunately it looks like their capital is a little bit vulnerable being right next to uh, this large Thracian army. So hopefully our... They can keep each other busy and not worry about us. That's my hope. Alright, let's go ahead and repair some stuff. I have the public order to destroy this. Oh, but I want to retrain my guys first. So I'll do that. I've got enough units here. I'm going to go ahead and merge. We'll lose some, but we'll get these guys in there. And we'll be full strength. I think I'm just going to get Rhodes for now and not worry about... Uh, destroying that temple for a couple of turns. Well, I think we're going to have to deal with Sparta in our next episode. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.